The engine's turning over. Oh, is it? Yeah. So that's not the starter. That's not the starter, mate, no. Oh. Well, it just doesn't start. So you got no revs. See what's going on, hey Charlie? I think bogey, you know. The meter works. Short circuit, bro. So I called down here to help swap out the starter motor because this car wasn't starting and he reckoned uh, it sounded like the starter motor was spinning but not engaging so I told him to tap it a few times with hammer and see if it started, it didn't so he went and ordered a starter motor, I hadn't looked at it at that stage so came down to try and help him swap it out today and um, so I got him to crank it and when he cranked it the alternator pulley turned or whatever so clearly it wasn't the starter but it still wasn't starting uh, so we pulled the codes no codes uh, looking at the, the dash hi Charlie uh, we didn't get anything on the tachometer when we we're cranking the engine and OBD2 data there's no tack signal so gave us a little bit of direction so we're going for the crank sensor just pull that out and that's open circuit so these Subarus are a bit of a nightmare to get to anything, so I'm just gonna, I'm going to call it at that, as long as they're not too expensive, and we'll stick one in and see what happens. But I'm pretty confident that's that's the Badger. Got a broken crank sensor. So we've got a multimeter here. Set to ohms, 200 ohm range. Open circuit. Meter works. That is a dodo. 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 Grab the new one. Look about the same. Resistance of something. To step in the right direction, eh? So we'll slap the badger in, give it a tickle. Smash this one out the back. Okay, we're connected. So look at our rest, we'll give it a turn. Sounds much better, right? Right, so there we go, that's where we are. I uh, called to go and help swap out a starter motor because he said it was spinning. It sounded like the starter motor wasn't engaging. Uh, it turned up and sure enough, crank pulleys turning. All the pulleys are turning, so definitely not the starter motor. Uh, when I first listened to it, it didn't seem to be building compression. As I, don't know, I haven't listened to this motor for a long time, but it just seemed to have a fairly even kind of pitched and seemed to be building up compression so I pulled off one of the ti top timing covers and timing belts intact so we'll ignore that for the time being um, then when cranking and looking at the OBD2 data I thought the tachometer rev counter wasn't moving anywhere I don't know if it does it in the, in the Subarus but I would have thought that we'd get see a signal there which kind of gave us a little bit of direction something that we could check out nice and easily we had no fault codes as you saw so we thought we'll check the crank sensor because it's a boxer engine it's about the only thing you can get to easily even then it's kind of a two fingers around the corner deal so we took that out and that was open circuit so without having too many tools 
figured, well, let's call it at that. Go from there. It seemed plausible. The old sensor, open circuit, new sensor had a resistance of about 8 to 10 ohms. Um, so we put it in, gave it a crank, still wasn't working. Uh, fuel pump primes when you turn the key, there's definitely fuel pressure on the rail, so not concerned there. Haven't checked for spark yet, but that's probably the next thing we need to do. And again, it's a boxer engine, so you've got to jack the car up and get get under there and do that. Um, don't have any wiring diagrams. Don't have much in the way of diagnostic equipment for the Subaru, so I'll put it over to you. What do you think needs checking? Um, what else can we do? Um, but yeah, I think we need to check for spark. Uh, if you try and crank the car or turn the car on with crank sensor unplugged, it throws a fault code for crank sensor crank sensor voltage. So we'll take that as a quick check that the wiring's okay. Um, so yeah, where to from here? I'm not too sure. I don't have the tools or patience at the moment to work it out, but. We'll get there, we'll have a look tomorrow probably and uh, see where we're going. But if you guys have any ideas, any direction, it'd be great to hear that. Because I don't know much about Subarus, so I don't know much about anything. But definitely not much about Subarus, so let me know. Appreciate it. Uh, take it from there. Cheers.